in mathematics, physics, and art. A moire pattern a moire fringes is a secondary and visually evident superimposed pattern created, for example, when two identical patterns on a flat or curved surface are overlaid while displaced or rotated a small amount from one another. In physics, its manifestation is the beat phenomenon that occurs in many wave interference conditions. Etymology The term originates from mua, a type of textile, traditionally of silk but now also of cotton a synthetic fiber, with a rippled or warted appearance. The history of the word moire is complicated. The earliest agreed origin is the Arabic makaya, a cloth made from the wool of the angora goat, from kayara, he chose. It has also been suggested that the Arabic word was formed from the Latin marmarius, meaning, like marble. By 1570 the word had found its way into English as mohair. This was then adopted into French as mouer, and by 1660 it had been adopted back into English as mouar or moa. Meanwhile, the French mouer had mutated into a verb moire, meaning, to produce a watered textile by weaving a pressing, which by 1823 had spawned the adjective moire. Mouar and moire are now used used somewhat interchangeably in English though muar is more often used for the cloth and moire for the pattern. Water textile refers to laying part of the textile on top of another part and pressing the two layers when wet. The similarity of the spacing of individual threads, which is, however, not perfect spacing, creates characteristic patterns when the layers are pressed together. When dry, the patterns remain. In the liquid crystal display industry, moire is often referred to by the Japanese word mura, which is roughly translates to unevenness, irregularity, lack of uniformity, non-uniformity, inequality. Pattern formation. Moire patterns are often an artifact of images produced by various digital imaging and computer graphics techniques. For example when scanning a half-tone picture or array tracing a checkered plane. This can be overcome in texture mapping through the use of MIP mapping and anisotropic filtering. The drawing on the upper right shows a moire pattern. The lines could represent fibers in moire silk or lines drawn on paper or on a computer screen. The non-linear interaction of the optical patterns of lines creates a real and visible pattern of roughly parallel dark and light bands. The moire pattern superimposed on the lines. More complex line moire patterns are created if the lines are curved and not exactly parallel. Moire patterns revealing complex shapes, or sequences of symbols embedded in one of the layers are created with shape moire, otherwise called band moire patterns. One of the most important properties of shape moire is its ability to magnify tiny shapes along either one or both axes that is, stretching. A common 2D example of moire magnification occurs when viewing a chain link fence through a second chain link fence of identical design. The fine structure of the design is visible even at great distances. The moire effect also occurs between overlapping transparent objects. For example, an invisible face mask is made of a transparent polymer with a wavy thickness profile. As light shines through two overlaid masks of similar phase patterns, a broad moire pattern occurs on a screen some distance away. This phase moire effect and the classical moire effect from opaque lines are two ends of a continuous spectrum in optics, which is called the universal moire effect. The phase moire effect is the basis for a type of broadband interferometer in X-ray and particle wave applications. It also provides a way to reveal hidden patterns in invisible layers. Implications and applications. Printing full-color images in graphic arts and pre-press. The usual technology for printing full-color images involves the superimposition of half-tone screens. These irregular rectangular dot patterns are often four of them, printed in cyan, yellow, magenta and black. 
Some kind of moire pattern is inevitable, but in favorable circumstances the pattern is tight, that is, the spatial frequency of the moire is so high that it is not noticeable. In the graphic arts, the term moire means an excessively visible moire pattern. Part of the pre-press R consists of selecting screen angles and halftone frequencies which minimize moire. The visibility of moire is not entirely predictable. The same set of screens may produce good results with some images, but visible moire with others. In manufacturing industries, these patterns are used for studying microscopic strain in materials. By deforming a grid with respect to a reference grid and measuring the moire pattern, the stress levels and patterns can be deduced. This technique is attractive because the scale of the moire pattern is much larger than the deflection that causes it, making measurement easier. Television screens and photographs moire patterns are commonly seen on television screens when a person is wearing a shirt or jacket of a particular weaver pattern, such as a hound's tooth jacket. This is due to interlace scanning in televisions and non-film cameras, referred to as interline Twitter. As the person moves about, the moire pattern is quite noticeable. Because of this, newscasters and other professionals who appear on TV regularly are instructed to avoid clothing which could cause the effect. Photographs of a TV screen taken with a digital camera often exhibit moire patterns. Since both the TV TV screen and the digital camera use a scanning technique to produce or to capture pictures with horizontal scan lines. The conflicting sets of lines cause the moire patterns. To avoid the effect, the digital camera can be aimed at an angle of 30 degrees to the TV screen. Marine navigation. The moire effect is used in shoreside beacons to mark underwater hazards. The moire effect creates arrows that point towards an imaginary line marking the hazard as navigators pass over the hazard. The arrows on the beacon appear to become vertical bands before changing back to arrows pointing in the reverse direction. An example can be found in the UK on the east shore of South Hampton Water, opposite Forley Oil Refinery. Similar moire effect beacons can be used to guide mariners to the center point of an oncoming bridge when the vessel is aligned with the center line. Vertical lines are visible. Strain measurement The moire effect can be used in strain measurement. The operator just has to draw a pattern on the object and superimpose the reference pattern to the deformed pattern on the deformed object. A similar effect can be obtained by the superposition of an holographic image of the object to the object itself. A hologram is the reference step and a difference with the object of the deformations, which appear as pale and dark lines. See also, Theory of Elasticity, Strain Tensor and Holographic Interferometry, Image Processing. Some image scanner driver programs provide an optional filter, called a screen filter, to remove moire pattern artifacts which would otherwise be produced when scanning printed halftone images to produce digital images. Banknotes. Many banknotes exploit the tendency of digital scanners to produce moire patterns by including fine circular or wavy designs that are likely to exhibit a moire pattern when scanned and printed. Super resolution microscopy. The moire pattern can be used to obtain images with a resolution higher than the diffraction limit, using a technique known as structured illumination microscopy. 